What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. This is episode number 13. Last episode we left off, we did a lot of stuff for Aveline here. Um, she sent us on a mission, I guess around Sundermount to... She got word of an ambush around Sundermount area, so we went and took care of the... Uh, I want to say they were highwaymen, I guess. Not sure, but we took care of it. She came back and told her boss, and her boss was not happy. So, that being said, um, at least her quest is done. We are not getting paid for what we did, unfortunately. Um, that being said, we have a duty roster here. She said this will be her next assignment. So, let's go ahead and check that out for now and see what's going on over there. Because I'm still a little confused on what the hell is going on with Aveline's quest, to be honest with you guys. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. Ooh. I'd have been dead for sure. A single patrol? She was... <laughs> she would have been done for. The first... The f <laughs> first couple enemies. There was assassins in there too. So there was like highwaymen, thieves, assassins, all types of stuff. But what what was the purpose of it? It seems like it was some kind of a setup, but like I said, I'm still a little bit confused. We're going to find out more here with Aveline's next uh, post in part, probably. A lone guard isn't much of a patrol. Shouldn't need to be. <laughs> that route was clear for weeks. First noise out of it was your big fight. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignments. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. Huh. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush. Interesting, guys. I'm sensing some kind of a cover-up here. It's blatantly obvious that... Something's going on, specifically with a captain. I mean, he just threw her out, like... Like she was a pile of trash for even doing what she do. But, again, some people don't like it when some people go f farther and beyond, you know, their duty. I don't know, maybe he's jealous? There's many options here, what, what the hell it could even be. You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. Okay, Aveline. I got your back. Don't you worry about that. I bet there's a perfectly reasonable lie that explains why your captain arranged this. I'd be willing to hear it, but not while a guard may be walking into a trap. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Messer, please stop kicking. Messer, please stop kicking that damn wall. <laughs> Who the hell's kicking the wall anyway? This poor guy goes, <laughs> he goes around to saying that shit all <sighs> the whole time. Okay, we need a path here, guys. We need to look at the journal, and we need to pick a quest. Okay, Deep Rose Expedition. We're not doing that. Enemies Among Us, the Gallows, Wayward Sun. Um, go to the Wounded Coasts. The way it should be, that's Aveline's. We got the Bone Pit, Loose Ends. Magistrate's Orders. Finders Keepers. Martin Stolen Goods at the Dock. Um, it's about time we go to the Dock, I think. And do some quests over there. I'm sure there. Look at all these side quests we got. Okay. Let's make our way around... Um, I do hope the Viscount remembers hmm. to Let's go make... Uh, let's change the party and then go make our way around to... Okay, let's see. Who are we going to choose here? Isabella, Varric, and Anders. Let's go towards... Oh, we got the Chantry here. Let's go to Hightown and get rid of some of this stuff. We also have some quests here to pick up in Hightown as well. Somewhere. 
You're Ferelden, right? Ever spend time at the Pearl? Ooh. That's it. You used to really like that girl with the griffin tattoos, right? What was her name? The Lay Warden? That's right. I think you were there the night I... Oh! Were you the runaway mage who could do that electricity thing? That was nice. Days. I don't think I need to know this about either of you. <laughs> I hear you, Varric. Anders is... <laughs> Actually, I don't even know. I'm down. Let's let's just <laughs> let's go back to the pearl and have all the companions there. I guess I don't know. Okay, let's go to the um. Um, no, no, no. Let's go. What do we have over here? A traditionalist? Excuse me, man. This fell into my hands. Recognize it? You just stumbled on this. Can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> Bloody fools. I did just stumble on that, literally. We stumbled on it in... somewhere. Sandal! I need you to... What can he, uh, upgrade? Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade this. We're gonna protection, why not? Um, fugitive, fugitive's crown? We can't do that. Let's go back to weapons here. Um, who's gonna hold their weapons for a while? I don't think this one... Let's upgrade Bianca. Some of this stuff does not scale and they're gonna be out done pretty soon. Okay, we'll save the rest. <laughs> I would like to do ours, but we're gonna save save the rest. No, he is not one for words, but when he does say words, they are definitely... Worth listening to. I hope so. Okay, what do we have here? Bounty, rescue the Viscount's son? Offered on the authority of His Excellency, Viscount Marlo Dumar. Interesting name, Marlo Dumar. <laughs> okay, citizens of able nature, Viscount Dumar requires your aid. His son, Seamus Dumar, has been lost to uncertain company and a safe return is sought with all haste. Make your case of skill to Seneschal Bran at the station in His Excellency's Keep, and the reward for his act shall be generous in both sentiment and coin. Damn it, we were just there. It would be nice to actually go pick that up. I might travel back there. What do we got, help wanted here? Citizens of Kirkwall, my dear wife Nanette has been missing, has gone missing. I shall reward the person who returns her safe safely. Questions about the bounty of Nanette? Come speak to me in Hightown Market. Hubert! Are you having problems with the bone pit? I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned. Unseasoned? Look at you! In your fancy little fancy little shirt there. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Served me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Uh <laughs> Naming it the Bone Pit is terrible, by the way. <laughs> Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. <laughs> the locals named the mine. Those <laughs> fools say it's cursed. Probably that is. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. <laughs> I was not referring to you, of course. He was so referring to us. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Yeah. He, uh, called us unseasoned for one, so he was definitely talking about us. Come on, we're not that dumb. Hubert? Come on, Hube. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. <laughs> he, does, he hates Ferelden, so that's, that's obvious. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. Okay there, Hubert. 
I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. Oh, Lord. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. What do you pay him? Two coppers a year? My God, Hubert. Hubert? Let's go look in his goods here and see if we can sell some stuff. Um, sorry, Fenris. Sir Wesley Shield, goodbye. <laughs> sorry, Isabella stuff. I need the gold right now, sadly. Ander stuff. Valerio 1 2. I don't think anyone will ever use this. I don't think everyone will use this either. Probably not. Gloves of the Spiral Eye. Um, I want to keep that because it's a set. Ring of the Magister. Um. Tome of Technique. I'm going to buy this right now, actually. I think we can get away with still making it up to 50. We just need to be careful. We need to really save our money from here. I don't think we can buy anything else. Nah, I don't think we can. What we're going to have to do now... Okay, hold on here. Uh, how do we get that? Tome of Technique? Did we already get it? We don't have to drink anything? Oh, we don't? Okay, this goes right to it. Very cool, because now I can get... Requires level 8? Aren't you just a schmuck? We are literally about to level up, I think. So, for now, um... Okay. Well, we can't get it for now. But what I think I want to do... As it requires level 12... 11, 13, so we're not going to be able to put any more points there. So level 8 will be able to put one point there. Okay, what else could we do? 24 points here to even be irrelevant. We could really use another... Maybe I'll upgrade heal. I think we're pretty good on damage and spells. We have lockdown stuff. I really wouldn't mind death hex on us. To be honest with you. We're going to have enough damage and spells later on. A walking bomb would be pretty, pretty amazing right now, but we can't... Hmm. I actually think I'm going to get Kona Cold. We kind of need an AoE spell. We're, we're kind of relying on Varric a lot. Or I could use Fireball, to be honest with you. Because we'll be screwed if they're immune to cold. Nope. Kona Cold it is. And I do not want Hulk using that at, at all. Okay. I think that might have been a good idea. Let's hope. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to this lady here. I think you let this get away from you. We'll eventually spend money. I think I'll spend more money on hooking up people's armor. Let's just go and look. I don't want to want to get our barons here. I know it's uh, a little bit of grind in here, but we need to do this. We need to make sure we're not missing anything. I want to make sure we're getting our companions upgraded all the way. And we have the money. I know I know we're not going to fall too short. We should be okay. This guy has nothing. What a what a bum. Hello, man. That's crazy. Okay, he doesn't have nothing. It's safe to say there's no merchants here that have anything. Um What is up here? Let's talk to this gentleman or lady. Ninette. Excuse me, bub. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. Bring her We're back to me here. now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She obviously left you for a reason there, buddy. Useless. 
Why are we still paying those slugouts? She might not like the beard. Might have to trim it a bit like Hawks. You should pay someone else. Like me. I like being paid. <laughs> if you can find me net, I will gladly pay you. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. She's your wife, not a dog. <laughs> At least a dog could be trained. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. I wonder what would happen if we dis... Tell him no. Do we still pick up the quest? Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? If we tell him no? It's a wrong doing. I'm curious, Jan guys. I really am. Men have her age. <laughs> She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Nanette keeps the company of other men. Huh? And makes no secret oh. of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. <laughs> uh, it wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Okay, she doesn't sound very faithful and you don't sound like a good man. You probably pushed her off, I could imagine. Why would her family think you did something to her? Can only they think imagine. I married her for her inheritance, and they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her, but I swear on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Ah, uh, let's help this I'll guy. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I, I don't think Isabella's gonna like this. I have a feeling. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lily's, hmm? her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I knew she wasn't gonna like that. I figured she was not. It was not a good uh, quest for her. Speaking of which, let's look at our approval here between our companions. Isabella's pretty okay. Varric is almost filled, almost. Jeez, Varric is <laughs> Varric's so easy to get approval. Isabella is tricky, and Anders is pretty easy too. Okay, yeah, that was a bad one to bring Isabella on. I'm sure if we would have declined, we would have got approval from her, but we have to do a quest. Okay, what else do we got going on over here? I believe Watch we have out. stuff... A Thenril? Um... Hold on. Let's go into the Chantry. Have we even, even been in the Chantry? I would say let's go to the, um... Pearl, but I really or Pearl. I keep calling it the damn Pearl. I don't want to go over there and uh Well, Isabella. Yeah, I don't really want to start that quest yet. I'm thinking about going to the wounded coast here. Kinda trying to get some XP before we head out there though and get that group heal. Let's go inside here and turn in some quests. We have something in here. I don't know if we can I don't know if we can talk to anybody in here, I wonder. Ravani, stop looking at my chest. Oh, my sorry. eyes are up I here. But the chest... Do 
Master, you know how much I suffer under your gaze. I am a person, <laughs> not an object. Uh, Varric? <laughs> Just shitting you. Varric. Okay, we have something up here. Okay, Parvalin. Look what I found. Your reason for living. <laughs> Look what I found. Your reason for living. Hawk! Oh, you're the man. Alright, let's go over here, see if there's any books, anything good, and then head out of here. I don't want to talk to the Grand Enchanter right now. Or whatever her name is. Grand. Whatever. Whatever she is. Okay, the founding. What is this? Okay, we have another quest. Very good. History of the Chantry. So much bullcrap. Okay, let's go ahead and head out of here. We shall talk to Elathena later. Anything in these doors? No. And commandments of the Maker. Okay. Alright. What do we got going on? Lowtown, we got Wayward Sun, the Gallows, Viscount's Keep. Loose ends, no, no. Lots of golden fool. Okay, let's go to the keep, right? We'll pick up the Viscount's Sun quest, and then we're gonna head to around the Wounded Coast, I think. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea. I'm gonna change my party. Who am I gonna take on the coast? I wanna take Carver, kinda. Um. A part of me wants to take Aveline. Anders, Aveline, and. Yeah. I think that's a good team. Okay, yeah, we'll do that team. Carver won't be much of a help out there. He will, but Abilene's going to be a bit more sturdier because there's going to be some nasty Insist fights up there. If you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his Canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems excessive. He may be tell the shot. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way. Well, yes. What is it? What is it now? You think she liked us? I'm telling you the way she walked past me. She liked us. Excuse me there, man. I was going to say madam. If but, this is about a rescue, yeah. <laughs> that woman did not seem the type. She is the type I feared we would attract. I like Seneschal's As I model, told the man. Others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. I tried to make a couple of my hawks look like him. I actually enjoy his, uh, his, uh, model. I think it looks pretty damn good for the game. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone. And there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. Okay. Um, appeal to the Arashak? Ooh. I don't like the way that sounds. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arashok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently their rebels, the Talvashoth, 
are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, they not are. for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. There has to be an angle for it. If it's the Viscount's son, there's got to be something going on that we are not seeing here. So, maybe the Talvishoth are using it as a hostage for money to build up their forces, get weapons, I guess, in the area to mount an assault on the Kunari that's here. I don't, we don't really know. This isn't a task for a guardsman. Yes, isn't it? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas's opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. Yeah. Well, uh, you lot only care about how you freaking look, man. This is a kid's life we're talking about here. Who gives a shit about embarrassment? I should know about the competition. The Winters out of Navarra. Can hate nobility, man. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. Hmm. Ready the reward. He'll be back in no time. <laughs> Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them, on the wounded coast. Aveline got some friendship! I bet you Carver would approve for that too, we should have put him in the party. Damn it, I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew, like I wish I had a guide, but I don't want to ruin it because I love it. I love it being raw and just <laughs> like Isabella disapproved on the last one. Like I felt like halfway through, I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have brought Isabella here. I don't think she's going to like this. Probably when she said something. It seems like when they speak up, it's either approval or disapproval. Hey, wall kicking guy. What's going on, dude? <laughs> All right, let's get over to the coast. Um... We'll start a little bit on a coast, but I think we'll save most of it for next episode as well. Maybe we should just clean up some of the stuff here before we head to the coast. Darktown? Let's head to Darktown real quick. Okay, what do we have here? I wouldn't mind cleaning up some of the... Um, Underwater, underwater, the uh, the gangs at night, which I think I may do that. Can we talk to Anders here? No, it doesn't say anything. Do men find you intimidating? Ooh. What about Wesley? Did he? Isabella. What? Too soon? Too soon. Too personal. Too everything coming from you. Ooh. Oh, sore spot. <laughs> if you don't shut up, I'll give you a sore spot. I love them. Love you guys. I won't lie. A little something of yours I picked up somewhere. Yes. Okay. We leveled up. Very good. I needed that, guys. Okay. So now we're level eight. Let's put two magic, one willpower. And then. Group heal. Let's do self, health, 25, use group heal. Okay, let's put this there, here, okay. Let's go towards, I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna go towards the, um, I'm gonna do some of these nighttime missions while we're at it before we head up Sunder Mount, because Sunder Mount's gonna be a long slog. I don't wanna cut it off. So we're going to go to. Which one do we need? The first sacrifice. Let's go to High Town at night and see if we can take care of this. We have not been to the docks yet, whatsoever. I know the docks at night, but we have a lot, a lot of quests at the docks. Okay, let's get everyone's stuff on. 
Yeah, yeah, Abilene. Get him, girl. Okay. I remember this one being terrible, terrible. But, you know, we'll have to work on these guys as much as we can. Okay, let's go ahead and... Crush in prison. This one? Okay, they're all immune to cold. So that's what I was worried about right there. Fireball would have been very, very, very good. They're weak to, uh... Yeah, they're definitely weak to fire, that's for sure. How's everyone doing? Good? I'm thinking Isabella might not be great for the last part here. Okay, let's go ahead and... We can't group heal. Let's group heal now. Alright, let's try to take this guy out. Alright, we got two on dog back here, which is very good. Let's heal Isabella. Hit Anders with a barrier. We still got... Okay. Let's get that off. We can crush and prison one of these guards. Let's get this one. Ooh. That was an insta-kill right there. Okay, Aveline. What do we got for you? Let's give you... Three strength. Okay, we need four here, sadly. I wouldn't mind giving her shield bash, but I kind of don't really want to do that yet. Okay. Let's give her more range on her taunts. Alright, we still did not get the letter from here, so we must have a bit more guards to kill. Let's go down towards the other side. I'm thinking about putting Varric into the party for the last part. Because we're really going to have to take use of his, um, pinning shot, I believe. We'll see, because Isabella kind of just doesn't have much to stun. We can stun, Aveline can stun, Anders can paralyze. Let's just try it with this party. We should be okay. I like a challenge anyway. Isabella can wreak some havoc, man. She's, she, she's just as good as damn Zevron is in Origins, so... She can definitely wreak havoc. We just got to be smart with it. Once we get Miasmic Flask on her, I think we'll be pretty good to go. Yeah, I don't see any more guards. We'll have to come back at some other time, I guess. Unless they're up here. Yep, okay. We'll have to come back at another time. Good, because I want to go to Gamlin's house. I want to go to the house and I want to grab something out anyway. I want to grab another dagger for Isabella. Meryl's here. Okay. Hey, Meryl. You know what the Dalish say to their dogs? Take the dread wolf by the ear if he comes. I could tell you a story of the dread wolf if you like. All right, Meryl. Go ahead and tell us Sounds a story. Sounds interesting. Long ago, a clan lived on the silent plains. It was a terrible, lonely place where the sun was forbidden to shine. Their keeper had a coursing hound. They had run down deer and hares and wolves together when they were young. But they had grown old together, keeper and hound, and now only dozed before the campfire, dreaming of hunts. <laughs> but then the dread wolf came, for the keeper was wise and kind. The things Fen Harrel hates above all else. At night, he tried to steal into the keeper's dreams, to twist his mind and turn him against the people. But even in dreams, the Corsair guarded his master. He caught the dread wolf scent and gave chase across the fade. Oh, you like that part? Shall I keep going? <laughs> I don't think you have a choice. Fan Harrel tried to shake his pursuer, but the hound ran as Corsairs can only run in their dreams. Even the wind couldn't have fled that hound. He ran the dread wolf down and grabbed him by the tail. 
Fan Harrell howled so loud that the veil shook and even the stars scattered in fear. But the hound wouldn't let go. Neither hound nor wolf gave in. Finally, Fan Harrell bit off his own tail to escape, and away he fled. Ooh. Ever since, the dread wolf thinks twice about playing his tricks when dogs are on guard. <laughs> I'm pleased you liked it. So I wish we had a Mabari in the next one. In history. He's a sweet dog, Hawk. <laughs> See you later. Take care, Meryl. Thanks for the story. Bo appreciates it. <laughs> okay, let's get this dagger out of here for Izzy, and then I'm going to call the episode on that note. When we come back, we... Okay, what does this one do? Spirits? Fiona does physical. Okay. Alright, my friends, it has been a pleasure. It's been a little slow episode, but we needed to get some of this. We needed to clean up the inventory. Uh, not inventory, we need to clean up the journal quite a bit. We have still quite a bit of stuff to do in the journal, specifically at the docks. We have a lot of stuff building up at the docks that we just need to do. Um, anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is, and I will see you all next time. Take it easy, my friends.